please welcome our five-foot bundle of Ukrainian joy, the one, the only, Luba Goy. I've got two men, two microphones out in heaven. Thank you. This side and this side, thank you for that wonderful sitting ovation. A standing ovation, okay. How are you tonight? It was so cold last night that I, I'm wearing my fur-lined underpants. Bra and panties, fur-lined, neat. Diakuyu, so were we at the parade today? Ah? Did you see me in that white Cadillac, 1950s Cadillac with my big knock? And who was riding but Karen and Jim Cardinal from Cardinal's funeral home? And I thought, you know, if the brakes fail, I'm in good hands. I was not worried. It was such a great parade and I love the children along the way. I brought my notes because it's too much activity and too much talking. So you have said that Pasala took much the Mama and the child said that Pashir. Postal took the papir. So I did, I have all my notes. Can't be a damn thing because I'm a doctor, but so this is the 15th annual Ukrainian festival in a village. You know, only Ukrainians will think of that. Now let's have a festival in a village. Come on, Stella, get out with the Stella or the Stella. I want to say that it is very pleasant to be here, because I know that you are here in the new village, the fourth wave. Now, I, you know, I, we're celebrating 120 years of Ukrainian settlement in Canada. 120 years, and I'm thinking, wow, where did the time go? It only feels to me like it's been 50 years that I've been here, but it's been 120, and I think I've held up pretty good. But I know that the Chiperta Kvile is here, the fourth wave. Vitayu was do Canada, me Canadian, you Canadian. But you are now the third wave because it's our Tete concert. You know, when I came by boat, 10 days on a boat, and you, you get off and you're complaining because you're seasick. The Novo Prebuli now coming in 747, 10 hours, and they, they complained because the peanuts were not fresh. Hello. They get off with their Minola Blanca, their Dolce Gabbana. You know, they don't wear Levi's anymore. Uh, uh, uh. Mama, my mama, she would spend a week's salary, a week's salary to send jeans to Ukraina, who's kid. But we're going to talk to you about Dolce Gabbana. All right, shut up in the sala. Well, it's wonderful. Actually, did you see the, the Zoom and class kids walking? That Oh, my people here, Zoom. Boot camp. See, class, they have it easy. They just have fun. No, we had to learn to set Paul Kravinsky. And the commandant, he would call out your name. You had to say, Krisutna. You were on school call. And it would be like, when you heard your name, you had to say, Krisutna. I, like, I was so embarrassed because all my girlfriends had these great Ukrainian names. And it's like, Hornakevich, Pisutna. Harasimovich, Pisutna. Hornakevich, Pisutna. Goy, Tut. Tut, Yaya Tut. Yaya Tut. It was like, Paul Kralinsky. And we like, we knew perfect Ukrainian. Shlap, Krafit, Kolera, Zalaza, Dabla, Kolera. Um, you know we have to vote. There's another voting session coming on. I was saying to Mama, 
що треба голосувати мама, треба піти по Борис Шевснєвський, де виграв. He only got like 21,000 votes, minus 26. And you know that who you were, who did not go vote for, for Boris. I said, what is the name of the vote for Boris? I said, ah, I can go to the corridor. Take me, Jim, go to the vote for me. Well, he lost, but he's going to be like running for leadership, apparently, in 12, 13 or 14. Anyway, yes. But I was saying to Mama, you know, there's going to be a new premier, Mama. So it's like, there's like a Tim Hudak. And he goes like, Mama Kajo, who that who that? Who that who that? Mama Kajo, who that? Should be Nash? No, I think he's Czechoslovakian. Close enough, I vote for him. I'm like, no, Mom, maybe you should vote for the for the woman, you know, Andrea Horvath, because I need a good character to to perform. Like, if Andrea wins, we get a female premier. That's good, you know. But uh, okay, Dali, Dali demo, because I got to get my get for it. And my time is ticking. So I was doing my Donald Duck today, my little Dee Dee Duck, and I learned how to do Dee Dee Duck in grade seven. And my grade seven teacher was not very impressed. She'd say, Luba, did you finish your assignment? And I would say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And she'd say, young lady, you're never going to get anywhere with that attitude. Boy, was she wrong. I knew that I could work in any major international airport doing the announcements. Attention, passengers. This is the final boarding call for flight number two. <laughs> now we departed from me. <laughs> and with Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Please come to the front desk. We found you missing language. But I just want to finish with saying that I'm very proud to be Ukrainian. And I had to go to Ukrainska Shkola, of course, play the accordion. But the best part was being at Zoom camp and raising the flag. You're a little girl and you raise the flag and we had to sing both the Canadian and the Ukrainian national anthems. La Strunko. But sometimes when the mosquitoes were eating you alive, it had been raining to come and them. We had, we had permission to sing both the national anthems at the same time. At the same time, Lisa, that was the best part. And the Kamari were like eating you alive. And the flag went up and it was like, oh. Oh, no.